Changing your opinion on me. Bro, we look fly right now. No pun intended. I'm about to take off on these hoes. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm out of here. I'm out of here, dude. Fighter pilot Joshi Poo. Well, I can't even say anything about me. I'm just Woody. <laughs> well, we can say a lot about it. I'm Woody. Like, like, what do you want me to tell you? Hey, you stay Woody. Like, my best friend is Buzz. You should have been Buzz Lightyear, my boy. I'm, I'm a, like a version of Buzz. You, I'm like, I'm yeah, like what Buzz was under his suit. No, I think on the new movie, the Buzz Lightyear movie, I think the new one, he kind of dresses like that. Hell yeah, he do. He dresses like me. Bro, that shit fits you good, Like bro. a glove. I'm Woody. And I'm Buzz. I'm your best friend, Woody. <laughs> There's a snake in your boot. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of La Platiquita. <laughs> Hell yes, you are, doggy. Uh, before we start, I just want to apologize and say that my voice is a little raspy. Um, I just got back from the DR. Yep. Beautiful, yes. beautiful spot. Yes. I went to the city. Can you say what you said to me earlier about taking me? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I went to DR. Okay. I went to this amazing place. Actually, I went to an amazing wedding. Yeah. Shout out uh, my my really, really good friends, Ronald, Ronald and Jasmine. Yep. Uh, they had the most wonderful, top tier the best wedding I've ever been to in it my life. It looked incredible, bro. On social media, like from the posts and stuff. That it I saw, was it so beautiful. insane. My Robin. brother. Well, your voice suits your fit. So it's it kinda, does, it's right? It's like that raspy Western kind of. It, it was worse yesterday. Yeah, it was. And we were honestly not going to film today, but we have to. My job is to talk. Get it done, baby. And talking is what I'm going to do. Get it done. So uh got to take you to the DR. Got to take you to this place called Casa de Campo. Okay. Crazy cool. Okay. And oh, oh, you're saying that's where you're going to take That's where I need to okay, take now you. now I'm interested. I need to take you. Now I'm you. interested. Maybe along the lines we can do a giveaway yeah. and take something to Casa de Campo because I'm up. It was sick. What's that one quote? It's like, uh, uh, realize, realize, realize. <laughs> <laughs> the most genius quote ever. It was like, uh, first you had my attention, Mr. Sabas. Now you have my blah, 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 blah. You know, you know what I'm talking I about? I don't actually. Yeah. It's okay, look, you tried. <laughs> you tried. And that's all you can do sometimes, you know what I mean? I know. So that's all you can do. We're three for three episodes, you yeah. talking in your little country accent. Well, I'm well, a fighter pilot. <laughs> you look good. Thank uh, you actually, likewise. this video is sponsored by Foreplay. Foreplay, We'll baby. get into that in a little bit. I saw Foreplay so is a good. wholesale uh, retailing costume uh, company, mm, and they have them. really nice amazing costumes very sexy costumes obviously honestly like and the, i don't want to take this off like you i might sleep in this you look badass i'm ready to go at all times my boy you look really good thank you shout out to foreplay for making me look so good <laughs> <laughs> uh but we'll talk about that in a little bit but today we have a special special potty waddy for you uh this one is actually gonna get posted uh not on a monday it's, it's a bonus episode? it's a bonus episode my boy wow we be doing things like that sometimes hey, you know sometimes? we love you guys so much yeah basically we've talked about doing two episodes per week and this is our trial of it to see how it feels to yeah. do an, an extra episode yeah. so let us know if you guys like this it's going to be more of a shorter uh episode it's going to be different but um yeah maybe we'll do this again i don't see why not uh what does woody do uh, for the gun i can't tell you I what got to do a snake in my boots <laughs> boots <laughs> Fuck you. i'm the mexican woody clearly bro i'm the fucking bootleg uh, movie snake in my boots <laughs> I'm the one that you you buy at the you buy the fake DVD at the Tianguis in Mexico. I'm that Woody. No, those movies always were better than the originals, anyway. So. Where there's people walking by <laughs> yeah. in the movie theaters. Damn, bro. Yeah, you I just unlock the memory right now. I know, bro. I'll be doing things like hey. that for you. Hey. I unlock memories. Yes, you do, and huh? to many more on Channel Four. <laughs> All right. Uh, all right. So <laughs> you can also find us on Spotify and Apple Podcasts or here on the wonderful world of YouTube. We miss you. We love you. Thank you so much for watching the last episode. Today's not going to be so scary. We're not going to talk too much about serial killers, especially that mother clown. Hey, fuck that clown. Fuck that guy. Hey, fuck that clown. I hate that guy. <laughs> Things is all So today, funny. Funny. I'm Woody, and this is my uh, United States Navy. You got on your, I got, on got your Navy, show. Navy patch. Uh, I earned that. I earned uh, this patch. Fighter weapon school guy. Yes, sir. Read the right. Read the loud. Read Aviation. Proud. I got to come up with the Mexican name. Tom Cube cubes. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, it's Tom Cruise. All right. Uh, and Tommy Cruz. And Tommy Cruz. And Tommy Cruz. Josh Cruz. Uh, we actually have a very special episode. We asked you guys. We asked you guys. Can I say a funny thing real quick before we get into this? It better make me laugh. Uh, well, it's going to make them laugh. Uh, if you guys notice, for people who really watch the, the podcast, Sebas is the one who edits the podcast entirely, right? And he's able to monitor the cameras, close-ups on him, close-up on me on the wide. Last episode. What dumb shit are you going to say? <laughs> last episode, <laughs> this guy had a piece of something in his tooth or something that was like, 
What was it? I figured out what it was. It was. was I was eating Fresh Grill uh, and, and the jalapenos. You know yeah. how they come like kind of burnt. Yeah. It was a fucking little burnt piece. Yeah. That was stuck right here. I don't know how I didn't feel it for five hours. That's crazy. I was talking to you like this. No, you, you didn't weren't. even say anything. <laughs> you I, I, I'm the homie that would tell you. You know that straight up. I'll call you out. I'll be like, look at Joe. I just don't understand how you didn't see face. it. I didn't see it, bro. I was I, because you know when I talk, dude, I like to look in the eyes. Because the ice chico, they never lies. Okay? They, they really don't never so lie. So I look at you in the eyes. I'm looking at you in the eyes right now, asshole. He has something in his tooth, and he n did not cut to his camera angle. Like Rarely. 90, did you? Did you ever Rarely. cut to it? Rarely. When he was like gone. For but it was a 90% like of the podcast was not his close-up. So I just wanted to point that out for the viewers out there. Ha, because, ha, ha. You know what I'm saying? I thought it was hilarious. And yeah. just watching the podcast and knowing that that's why you didn't cut to your close-ups was my favorite thing. And you know I like to cut up to the Yeah, and it was always like, why? And I'm like, well, we get, we get in personal, baby. Come I, on, bro. I, I hate you. Hey. I hate you. It's okay, man. I hate you. Okay. But yes, that will never happen again. I learned my lesson and uh, I, I'm i always going to check my teeth. I'm always going to check my face before I uh, start filming. And you know, the funny thing is too, is that when I inputted all the footage, um, I said, all right, I must have had it for at least the first 10 minutes. I went all the way to the end. That motherfucker was still dangling. It just got bigger and bigger. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, it was just worse. It looked gross. It looked like I had like mold coming out of my mouth. Ugh. It was bad, bro. Ugh. Real bad. Today we have an amazing episode. Assumptions about Josh and assumptions about Sebas. So I asked uh, people what assumptions they had about Sebas. And Sebas asked his people on his Instagram what assumptions they had about me. So I don't know what you guys said about me and he don't know what y'all said about him, but y'all about to find out. But I well, got you it about already. to find out actually. And thank you so much for putting the requests in. They're hilarious. Uh, thank you guys so much for contributing to La Platica because without you guys, no somos nada. Yeah. Do you want me to go first or do, <laughs> do you want to go? I want to be real too. I kind of held off on looking at these, but these are hilarious, bro. Are they really? Yeah, yeah. Um, are you still looking at new ones right now? Is, yeah, they're just You weren't in. even ready, I, were you? I, I, no, 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 no. <laughs> I even made a folder and you everything. You made a folder? Yes. Wow. You me too. You me too. Yeah, right. <laughs> Woody don't lie, my boy. Hey, I'm a I service I'm a service of a I'm a I'm a, I'm a server of a goddamn I just Air had, Force. Right? I don't <laughs> don't fucking come at me like that. Woody will whoop your ass. Woody will whoop your ass. You ever listen to yourself, dude? Listen to me. I literally just came to a realization that I'm over 30 years old. I have a podcast with my best friend <laughs> and I'm wearing a Woody costume. What is your life, bro? My life is like a movie. <laughs> you're not even wearing that right. You're wearing sweatpants. You were supposed to wear jeans, you numb nuts. I thought the costume came with the jeans, you asshole. Why asshole? would the costume come with the Gucci jeans? It's a costume. <laughs> costume should be, you know? Yeah, no, you're supposed to put that together. It adds a little bit of your own. Uh, well, look. You it, look great, bro. You look like a swaggy Woody. It looks decent and you know I'm Woody. I know you're Woody. I told you I'm the Mexican Pirata Woody. Sold. Okay. <laughs> you ready for the first one? I'm ready. All right. Um, did, did some of the ones you get like kind of mean? Not really. Okay. I, People yeah. don't hate us. Yeah. Well, speak for yourself. <laughs> no, 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 no. Look at, look at me. I'm Woody. <laughs> don't hate me. You ready or not? I'm ready, bro. I'm ready. Okay. Your first assumption. You ready? Yeah. And be truthful. Bitch, what? Of course. I'm assuming he gets a lot of inappropriate uh, inappropriate DMs daily. Do you? Inappropriate, maybe maybe hurtful ones, maybe sexy ones, maybe. Yeah. Uh. Do you or do you not? Be truthful. I will. I will. I will. I will. I will. I will. Okay. I'm gonna say this. Not daily. But they definitely come. Yeah. The inappropriate ones definitely come. I've gotten some pretty out there DMs, man. Can you explain like one or like? Uh, f I mean, wherever your mind goes, I've gotten them. Damn. Yeah. I've gotten them. Have you gotten a dick pic? Uh, yes. I've gotten a few. Um, th Those don't come as much as like other stuff though. Yeah. Yeah. I've gotten some pretty up close and personal stuff. Yeah. Wow. A lot, bro. Straight off, like off the gate. Okay. Out the gate. Okay. Yeah. I like that. So it definitely happens. And then inappropriate, like sometimes somebody will DM me some like stupid shit, like hate and stuff like that. That doesn't bother me. It's always like, whatever. I don't even care. Yeah. 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 Um, but yeah, they, they definitely. They, they come? <clears throat> wow. They, they definitely come. They definitely. <laughs> <laughs> they definitely come. You're sick, you, you Navy guy. <laughs> we're loud, we're proud. <laughs> yeah. 
uh you wanna uh you wanna go like want, want me to say all of them no, or you wanna, you wanna how go many back do you got? how many do you got i think i got five for you okay uh okay i like this one okay he used to be an asshole uh i don't think i ever I, been an asshole no no i, I you, i'll tell you what why am i holding the mic like this you, you're being a little sus right now buddy woody stop <laughs> um do you know what it's not that i'm an asshole no, it used to be, not no more. No, no, no. Yeah, it used to be. It's not that I used to be an asshole, but I've always been the type of guy that, like, if I don't f with you, yeah, like if I don't really like uh, vibe with you or anything like yeah. that, psh, to the side. But I'm never like an asshole, as in like telling you mean things or a bully or yeah. or make people feel bad about themselves or I fight with people. Never that. I'm a very, very, very nice guy. Ask about me. Ask anybody that knows me. No, I me. know. I, this I know. Let me talk. I've known you for almost eight years. <laughs> hey. hey, you're being a little bit of an asshole right now, buddy. <laughs> no, I'm not an asshole. I, I, if I have to like put the money, yeah, you know, put 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 the bet on. <laughs> if I have the bet on myself, not an asshole. I'm not. I'm. I've never been an asshole. Okay. Do you think if you used to be an asshole, you could admit that you used to be an asshole? Say that again. Okay. If you used to be an asshole, do you think that you have the humility to admit that you used to be an asshole? Of course. Of course. Yeah? Yeah. You think so? Yeah. Of course. But I tell, I'll, I'll tell you what. Yeah. But there's there's a, there's a very rare <laughs> moments in my life where you've been an asshole. Where I'm where I mean. Have uh, you felt bad? Yes. Yeah, me too. And I'm I've been mean yeah. too. People sometimes people are mean, right? But, like, re but real real assholes never feel bad about what they do. True. Right. Yeah, that's true. Right. That's very true. So, but I, at the end of the day, I feel like if you meet me and I. I know a lot of you have because we just met like a thousand of you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know, I was not an asshole. Yeah. Um, and, and you can see in you too, you can see that me and you are not assholes. Yeah. Yeah. I think what happens is people are quick to judge. And obviously, like, you're a handsome dude, you're tall, successful, you're well dressed, what else? Where well put together. What else? And I think that kind of oh, creates this stopped. illusion that you could potentially be an asshole. Yeah. I, right? mean, I mean, remember when Pero Noche came in, Adriana said that she thought I was an asshole? Oh, that's so true. May maybe, may maybe the Bro, way this I look. You around. Yeah, maybe the way I look. I yeah. don't know. Yeah. So, okay, I get it. I get it. Typical but, but, douchebag. <laughs> hey, pero como te, dice, como te dije la otra vez. Yeah. El chiste es caer gordo. That's right. Daddy. So what do you want me to tell you? <laughs> All right. El chiste es caer gordo. Hey, well. Hashtag tweet that. Let me repost it. I'll see you in a little bit. I've heard you say that so many times. Ever heard I heard you say that for the first time. Even yesterday on the field, you said it. I did, huh? Yeah. We whooped those guys. I'm like, asses. get a new catchphrase. <laughs> All right, ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Before he leaves the house, he winks at himself. That's you. Is that you or is that not you? May well, <laughs> I wink at myself. People, people will assume the, that you do, my boy. The wink in the gun? I don't know, bro. Wink and, people assume uh, that you do, my boy. Hey, you gotta, hey, uh, feel good, play good. You know what I'm saying? And life's a game, baby. And I'm here to play A1 style. So do you wink at yourself? You know, I blow myself a little kiss. Uh, so it's a kiss and a wink. It's a little kiss, it's a little wink. It's a little flirty. If you don't, hey, if I, if you don't flirt with yourself, who will? Nobody. You gotta be kind to yourself, baby. You gotta love yourself. So, I believe in loving yourself. So the assumption is true. Okay, look. I'm not over here winking at myself every time I walk out of the house. Yeah. Right. Not but like conceited. If I'm feeling good, I'm like, hey, man. You, you should. You're looking good, champ. And that's the confidence that you have. You're looking good, kid. I, I, can, I can say I do the you same thing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 Have I winked at myself? Yeah. You know? A little wink and a, little wink and a kiss. Can, 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 you, can you look at the camera and see how you would wink, wink at somebody? Oh. Oh. Fighter pilot. Oh. The name is uh, Cruz. I feel like Cruz is a good fighter, fighter, fighter pilot, man. I feel like your name is Tomas Cruz. Tomas Cruz. Yeah, that's the hair. <laughs> the hair gives me Tomas vibes. Dude, you can. You should have done Top Gun. I'm going to do Top Gun. At least as an extra in the background. This is actually your costume. Your <laughs> yes, it is. It's okay. Fits you better. You can have it. All right, cool. I got it for free. <laughs> All right, my turn, my turn, my turn. Are you sure you don't want to say Dude, anything? Dude, it's my turn. Oh, yeah, it is. Yeah. This is funny because I know the answer to this. I just think it's funny that they I'm think scared. this is your assumption. I'm like, scared. this is the assumption. I'm scared. The assumption is I'm scared. that he gets lazy to line up his beard. And Did you know you, what? Oh. Hold on, hold on. Let me touch on this before we dive into this. I know the answer to this question. Yes. Uh, and um, Look at my beard right now, my boy. It's, it's, he lets it go, right? He doesn't really have like a, a strategy to it. He just kind of lets it grow naturally. Sebas knows what he's doing when it comes to men's grooming because one, he used to be a hairstylist and two, he's tapped in when it comes to this stuff. So <laughs> I want to know, I want you to tell them that what it is of why you don't actually line up your beard. 
I've said this before. I'll say it again. I do not like how I look with a lined up beard. I feel, and this is not, this is just me. Okay. There's guys back at home. They line up their beard. You look fantastic. I love you. I'm going to, I'll squeeze your cheeks and I'll kiss you. I'll hit up the little lines. You hit up the little lines. You look great. No. I don't like how I look. Okay. When I have a huge beard, which I've had, which I've had, and I don't, I regret having that beard because I look back now, I feel like I looked ugly. Yeah. But at the moment, I felt like I looked cool. I, I would line it up because it would pop. Yeah. But now, but now. You're stressing me out, dude. When I have it short like this, actually, it's kind of long right now. Okay. I just got back from the DR, Dominican Republic. Got it. Okay, cool. So you're well-traveled. That's awesome. Never yeah, yeah, knew. yeah, yeah. Never knew. So I'm really tired. Very raspy. <laughs> glad to be back. Thank you. <laughs> Um, glad to have you buddy. yeah glad to have you. Uh, thanks I'm um, glad to play baseball yesterday yeah, 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 yeah. we won by the way Chupacabras go Chupacabras um, I don't like the way I look so it's not a laziness thing no it's, it's called it's not, personal preference yes I like the naturally grown out look I, I go for that I every am. once in a while too I don't that's, know if you notice that sometimes I'll do that too I'll just kind of let it go a little bit don't let it be so perfect. And, and it's not even it's not even uh guys telling me this oh, the majority is guys like yeah. yo let me line up your beard or you would look better if you lined up your beard blah blah, yeah. blah I don't like the way it looks okay I feel like it looks too like uh clean cut for me okay I like that it what you're gonna say too clean cut too clean cut for me yeah. and I don't like that look for me okay you know I like to look Rugged. clean I like to look clean in the hair yeah clean everywhere else yeah Nalgas clean. Well, everything clean. Yeah, my outfit is on on deck. Ish, my outfit is on deck. You forgot the jeans, bro. Okay, it was on the picture. It was on the picture. Eighty percent of the time, my <laughs> outfit's on deck. <laughs> Dude, look at your bulge. What the <laughs> hell? Dude? Whoa! You're giving me a Woody. <laughs> this outfit's tight and it's hot. I'm hot. It is hot. It's so hot. I think it's just uh, the thing, but yes. Uh, but to uh, just tell you guys, I'll tell you what. I'll do. It, I'll do it once and I'll post it. Oh, that's good. Yeah, I'll just do it. Yeah, and I'm like, look, this is how I look, and then yeah. I'll throw a poll. If I look good, then I look good. If not, you know, whatever. Yeah, I just don't like how it looks. I like. I like to look clean everywhere else, and then it's scruffy. It's funny how I like certain the scruffy people, look. Certain people like they notice that and they yeah. like call it out. And yeah, stuff. because I've known you. What I've known you for a while, bro, and it's you've never really lined up your beard, right? Maybe it's in, maybe you have, but like it yeah. wasn't super no, common that you not always really, had it. Yeah, not really. Um, I've never really like. It's never really crossed my mind where yeah. I'm like, oh, he should probably line up his beard. Like, I think the look works for you. Yeah. I get what you're doing. It's not mm -hmm. like, it doesn't feel like it's done on accident. Like, yeah. you're not that's cuidando. It's like you, you did it on purpose. Yeah. You know, it's like, this is my Stila. And y'all just ha hating. Gila. I was going to say Gila, but that just didn't work. You, you comfy goose. <laughs> I'm a comfy goose. My turn, right? Yeah. <laughs> um, this is so funny. He's the type of person to get bad FOMO all the time whoa who is that who said that uh everything here is anonymous joshy P. oh damn <laughs> do i know that no uh i mean i don't think so <laughs> Fuck. I don't know, shit. you know what's crazy bro yeah i do i, I want to be everywhere yeah. at all times and uh i do get fomo like i even told you i was a little tipsy when i was out in uh, italy and you guys were at the bad bunny concert i literally deleted my instagram off my phone because i was like i don't want to see this because i'm gonna be sad i'm like i'm in italy right now it's i'm sipping that, that fine wine it's that bad huh okay you don't gotta say it like that right <laughs> yeah, you're deleting an app for mental health reasons dude don't make fun of me and for people back at home that do not <laughs> <laughs> that do not know what FOMO is, it is. Fear of missing out. Yes. Yeah, I, I want to be in the action. I, dude, I, I feel like I, I don't want to ever miss a beat. I want to, if I have the opportunity to be there, I would do everything I possibly can to be there. So that's how I am. That's how I live my life. I want to squeeze the juice out of life. And when I can't experience something with people that I know I would really enjoy, I get a little sad. Got it. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. I, I'm the same way too. Yeah. I just don't delete that. Right. Okay. Well, you know what, dude? We can't all be as uh, mentally strong as you. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I will say this though, even though I have FOMO, I definitely enjoy being by myself. Let's just say like it was, let's say I happened to be home and I saw you going out and stuff like that. I will enjoy my time at home as well. Does that make sense? Yeah. So yeah, I might be like, damn, that sucks. That looks really fun. But I'll also be like, I'm chilling right now. I got a glass of vino. I'm watching, you know, yeah. Toy Story. Yeah. No pun intended. You know, I'm chilling. I'm, I'm Woody. <laughs> got it. <laughs> yeah, the Mexican one. <laughs> And honestly, I came out from DR with like, uh, don't, am I am I not hella tan right now? Uh, you're darker for sure. Yeah, I think you're like two shades darker. Yeah, you got a little bronze beauty going on. But it looks good, I think. It looks great, and it actually yeah. makes your hair pop. Teeth look whiter. Nothing in your teeth right now, by the way. You're looking good. Looking pristine, Thank buddy. Thank God. Looking good. I'll never forget. Hey, don't. People don't forget. <laughs>
People don't forget. What's that from? I forgot. <laughs> Next. <laughs> All right, cool. Here we go. You know what's funny? Are there what's like, funny? Are there certain assumptions that like are kind of more like it's a lot of the same kind of ones? Yeah, yeah. There's yeah. two that I keep getting from you. Oh shit. Do you want know to tell you what Did they you are? Did you already say one? I said one already. Uh, which was what? The beard? Uh no, not the beard. Oh. The asshole. <laughs> Uh, uh, what? Yes. Yes. Damn. Yeah. People are like, uh, I'm not an asshole. That you have a big ego or that you're an Shut asshole. Up. Or that. A big yeah. ego? <laughs> yeah. yeah. No. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But then there's also a lot of people saying the, the opposite. Like, he's super down to earth. He's really humble. Um, yeah. So. But that's not the second one. Yeah. What's the second one then? Uh, the second one? Uh,. You good, Tomas Cruz? I wish I would have read these before, actually. You good, Tomas Cruz? <laughs> hold on, Tomas? You're uh, a Tomas. Dude, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold we're, on. we're all holding on. We're all waiting, Josh. <laughs> God damn, you were not prepared. I'm sorry, dude. You're too busy over there kissing yourself in the, in the mirror. Uh, well, somebody's got to do it. <laughs> okay, this is funny. Okay. He's changed since he's lost weight. Not as wild. We want wild Sebas back. Wild Sebas back. Wild tell us back. They said all that. All that, bro. You know what? It's true. It's true. Yeah? Yeah. I used to drink a lot more. Yeah. I used to party a lot more. Yeah. I used to eat a lot more. You were less cautious, right? You were just kind of like, oh, yeah, go, less go cautious, with the flow. go with the flow. Yeah. Um, yeah, now I don't yeah. do as much. I we mean, want wild tell us back. I'm not going to lie. I feel like we, we're really into... I mean, we still are, right? Well, like we, we, we care about what we eat, we we'll yeah. go to the gym, try to be like active, especially during the summer. But I feel like going into winter right now, I'm, I'm a little, I'm, I see myself kind of let loose a little bit. Really? You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm, I'm the same way too. Yeah, I'm like, it's all right, bro. Yeah, I'm just gonna. I, you know what's crazy? I feel like I party more during, during the winter than I yeah. do. But to be honest, here in Southern California, the best city in the world yeah. or, or area. City. No, it's a city. Well, Southern California is not a city. Oh, you said Southern California. I don't yeah. know why I heard LA. Well, LA. Yeah. You know, here in LA, it, it's never cold. You're right. It's, it's uh, we have perfect weather. We got so, the best weather in the world. So man. I feel like in the in our winter, yeah, it's the weather that I like. So okay. I tend to go out more. Okay. You're uh, you're, a, you're a cold body. Yeah. In you the like summer, uh, either on vacation somewhere else. <laughs> oh, because I you travel? travel. Yeah, I travel. Got it. Never knew. And uh, yeah, I, I don't really, you know. But yeah, you're right. I haven't. I don't. Sorry, I don't party as much yeah. as I did before I lost weight. I mean. Have you, one of the reasons why I stopped drinking is because I told myself, and my friend told me too, he said, think about it. When's the last time that you did not have a drink that week? And this was like a year ago. Like a whole week without a drink? Without drinking. Mm. You know what I said? Since high school, my boy. Damn. That's a lot of drinking. Yeah. So it, no, it's, you, did, you did 30 days without drinking though, right? I did like, two months, my boy. Damn. Do you know what a month two months does to your face and to your body no drinking your inflammation goes down so so much mm -hmm. it's insane yeah and i did that for two months and then after that i really didn't drink after that either wow i lost 40 pounds in like five months That's four wild. months yeah it's a lot damn i know so, so are we yeah, gonna she, get, are we gonna get wild sebas she's back? right uh, I, i'll try to bring wild sebas back occasionally yeah i mean i'm still wild sebas you're right what, what was the chant again <laughs> wild sebas back wild sebas back wild sebas back <laughs> My voice is getting it went from English to like <laughs> country. I like doing the country voice, man. All right. Oh, my turn now. Yeah. You know, a lot of other people were saying too that they don't believe your actual height. And I was going to bring a tape measure. I actually remembered I, I skimmed through these earlier a little bit and uh, they were like, he's not actually as tall as he is. Bring out the tape measure and I was going to bring it, but I forgot. I'm 5'11, my boy. Mm, we don't know about that. All right. I'm 5'11, my hey, boy. Hey, short king is cool. I'm not a short king. My boy, short being short is awesome. I, I know it's awesome. Yeah. I know a lot of awesome short kings. You are one of them. Sometimes I they're so awesome that I wish I was a short king. You are. But I'm not. Mm, you are. Okay, bring the tape measure next I will. next potty waddy. I will. Okay. I will. It, and if I'm 5'11, what? You're and, short. If I, and if I'm 5'11, what? <laughs> You're not 5'11, dude. You're 5'9 on a good day. Say, repeat after me. If I'm 5'11, what? <laughs> if I'm 5'11, what? English is a crazy language. That's one word, bro. That wasn't even English. If I'm 5'11, what? <laughs> He's a big softy, even though he looks like a macho man. Whoa. Well, you know this. I know this. Yes. This is very true. You're, you are a big <laughs> this softy. This assumption is true. And it pisses me off, You're man. You're a huge marshmallow with legs. Yeah, it makes me mad. I get it. I uh, I wish I was a little more uh, stern. Um, yeah. What do that, you mean stern? No, I am. I guess just more. Um, 
sometimes I feel like I let my emotions get the best of me. You know what I mean? And I'm not trying to like make like have like a pity party and stuff like that, but I I, I kind of like neglect myself um, and not really care about my like my own emotions because I'm trying to like satisfy somebody else. And then you're a nice guy. Yeah, I'm a nice guy. So yeah. I think like, but I don't even mean that, like I'm a nice guy. I'm like I think like like I'm a softy. <laughs> like nice yeah. guy. Like being like I'm a softy. Yeah. Yeah. So you're a marshmallow with legs. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, big veiny marshmallow <laughs> with big basketball legs. Uh, yeah, that, that's a true assumption. I'm well, just, I know. I feel like you're holding back. Say, say no, what you no, want to say, no, say, no, say, no, say about me, dude. Say what you want to say about me, dude. I know that you're a softy, and I like that. Oh, thanks, dude. I don't want to. I don't want to hang out with a big macho man. That's not cool. <laughs> yeah, you, but you can be macho man when you yeah, want. Absolutely, yeah, absolutely. And so can I. Yeah, but I know what you mean about kind of like sometimes it kind of kicks you in the ass. Yes, kind of yes. kicks me in the ass. Yeah. That's what I was trying to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's all right. It's okay. It doesn't yeah. hurt. Yeah. Like imagine having a marshmallow ass. That's yeah. not gonna hurt. I feel like I <laughs> I got pillows back there. We Gucci. Yeah, you Gucci, my boy. <laughs> I just bounce back up. But now, that's I know why I'm so happy all the time. Like I get kicked in the ass, I bounce back up. You know yeah. what I'm saying? This is me. That's how, but that's why you're such a nice guy. There we go. It, it, it has nothing to worry about. You get kicked in the ass, you don't even care. Don't even worry about it. I'm like, oh, did you feel something? Is that a gust of wind going through a my butt cheeks? Gust of wind. <laughs> um I feel like I much rather come across like overly nice than have that like like attitude or being yeah. like that mean personality yeah. because um having that kind of energy around in your life is one exhausting and if i have the option to choose like happiness or being mad why, why not choose happiness that's what and I'm even that, that like sometimes that kind of like, crosses over into like being softy because it's like i don't know man i just i rather just put my heart on the line i wear my heart on the sleeve and i wear it proud me too you know what i mean yeah like, it at, is what it is at the end of the day when you're 80 years old you you want to tell everybody that everybody wants to recognize you as a nice guy yeah i'm like that dude had an attitude yeah. blah blah i'm not yeah. into that i don't really like the macho man energy no but in life as a man there is sometimes that you do need to be a macho man you gotta hold it down for uh, holding down for for, yeah. for a lot of things yeah, absolutely um th oh yeah you're next oh okay actually you know what let's go on a super quick commercial okay and then we'll be right back let's be right back it's not like we always come back. I don't think we've ever not come back. I have one more question though. What? No, you can't. <laughs> Stop doing that because you always give me. I know. <laughs> one more question. There's a serious question though. Okay. Very serious question. Well, you, we got to wait after the break. This is a very, very important question. You cannot wait. No. It needs to be right now. No. This is my only moment. I'm going to forget it. If you hit that unrecord button, I'm going to forget it. We'll be right back. I forgot it. Estás escuchando la See ya. Wrong button, dude. See ya. <laughs> See ya. What was I saying in English right now? Uh, uh, <laughs> but we look good. We look really good. I, I'm ready for Halloween. What I'm, ready, about you? I'm ready to party, my boy. Guys, this video is sponsored by Foreplay. If you guys don't know, Foreplay is the place to go for your costumes delivered to you. Two day shipping with wow. order $65 and up FedEx. So it's going to be perfect for Halloween. As you can tell, we look incredible incredible these outfits these costumes are top notch i, I great quality right bro it came with the shades you know what i'm saying let me the see patches. put them on put them on put them on put them on put them on, on, on. on. Okay. oh i'm ready Ooh. to take off is that my 1847 ready to go Ooh. is it filled up if you guys want to get these costumes along with a bunch of other options that they have go to foreplaycatalog.com or go to at shop foreplay on instagram and you can see all the drippy costumes that they got you could be looking fly Ooh. Like, uh. you know the good thing about sh uh, shop foreplay? They have a lot of costumes that you can pair up with your partner. Oh, that's so right. So if you want to look like my my boy right here, mm. then your girl can look just like my boy just right here. Just as fly as your boy. And you it's cool because this video is sponsored by foreplay. And if you go on foreplay and you get your costume, you can put La Platica at 25 to get 25% off. And you're going to get it in time before Halloween because it's two-day shipping. FedEx, because you know FedEx is official, my boy. Hey, they're as official as a whistle. All you got to do is spend $65 or up easy. Two days later, you're looking like us, my boy. I ain't taking this outfit off ever until November 1st. You're going to catch me in this outfit. Wow. Does that mean you're going to wake up the next day with the outfit on? You might have, a, you know, too much of a good time, huh? I always have a good time. Even when I have a bad time, it's a good time. So go to foreplaycatalog.com, get your costume, and please tag us if you do. Please. If you get this one, tag us. If you get this one, tag us. And like I said, they got a bunch of costumes, great quality. Some of them are a little sexy. I'm hey, going to show you that I, right I, now. I took a peek at the ones with the girls. I was like... So yeah, make sure you use La Platica 25 and Forplay. Thank you so much for sponsoring this video. Appreciate you guys. I love you, my boy. Thanks my for sponsoring boy. the party. Wadi too hotty, my boy. Now let's get back to it, baby. Yes, sir.
Hey, if you're gonna hand me a, a soda, make sure I got a Z at the end. Yo, can I say something? And I'm gonna just put it out there in the air. I'm gonna just put it out there in the air. I feel like Look. I don't. That air. Huh? You gonna <laughs> put it out in the air? I'm gonna put it out in the air. Oh, yeah. That air. Okay, I'm ready to receive. All right. And if I find out what? Look it. I'm gonna put it out there in, in, in the air. I'm gonna put it out there in the air. And hopefully, in the world. And hopefully, someone's listening. Okay. Right? We will get sponsored by Dr. P Z one day or, and I'm giving you free promo right now. Dr. Dr. Pepper, doctor, I know you're probably with some patients right now. Listen up doc. But Dr. Pepper, zero sugar. We will get sponsored by them one day and I will have a neon sign, but we won't be mad at a Coke Z sponsor either at all at all. So Coke Z, Dr. P Z, <laughs> whoever comes first. As long as they got a Z at the end, my boy. Yes. Shall we care around here? Hey, I don't know about Squirt Z, though. Give me a Squirt Z. I want a Squirt Z. Yeah, I bet you do, you <laughs> sicko. <laughs> Shit, that's one assumption about you. You like to get fucking... Say it. <laughs> <laughs> Say it. Go ahead. Anyway. <laughs> Say it with your chest. Uh, and the your, answer is yes. It's your turn, right? Yeah. No. Well, uh... Yeah, just start off with you. Come okay, on, cool. boy. Um... That just hit your camera, and that's hilarious. And you don't even laugh. Hold on, dude. I'm. I really... Next time I'll be prepared, okay? <laughs> dude, please be prepared next time, please. Oh, okay, okay, okay. This, this is actually a, a funny assumption, a good assumption, because I know the answer to this. And the answer. Oh my god. Anyway, he's funnier in person. Damn, it's kind of fucked up. <laughs> oh, damn. Fuck. Is it? Is it? Well, yeah, because that means that everything I do on camera is not funny. Well, yeah, dude. Uh, I hate to break I think it to you, sweetheart. I think I'm <laughs> funny. You are funny, but I think that uh, in just the wild and your day-to-day -day stuff, bro, you crack me up. You're funny. You're really funny. I've heard that before. Yeah, I think you're uh, and more like just like not even thinking about it. Obviously, you're being yourself here, right? But there's still like you're still kind of thinking about you. You have a lot on your mind right now, bro. Like navigating the cameras, the, all like audio stuff. So I think that doesn't allow you to fully just like. Got it. You know what I'm saying? And I don't mean that in the bad way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but you're way funnier in person, dude. <laughs> right now, not so funny. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I don't like I don't like that one. You don't like that one? Yeah. I don't think it's a bad one. I think it's a good one. No, I know what you mean. And you're probably right. <laughs> Some of us, you are funny. Look, it, l listen to what it said. Funnier, implying that you are funny, but you're funnier. It should have said, Sevas is hysterical. Okay. But in person, it makes me pee my pants. I think it was implied. I think it was implied. Okay, cool. Then thank you. <laughs> All of a sudden. Thank you. Who was that? Huh? Who was that? Oh, you don't want to know. <laughs> I got a good one for you, my boy. Give, give it to me. I can't believe I'm not that funny. You, tell us. Can you tell everybody how funny I am? He's hilarious. I just said it. I said that I hang out with you. You crack me up. You say the funniest things. You're so like witty. Am and I, I one of the funniest people you know? Uh, top five. I'll give you top five. Damn, you didn't say top three. Top. F you. <laughs> Woody Bro, don't like you. Top five is really good. Woody don't like you. <laughs> I'm wearing a Woody outfit. How is that not funny? <laughs> I have my hat. Well, put the hat on. Then maybe I'll laugh. It's actually perfect, like right on your on your chin. How am I not funny? <laughs> Look at me. This is my job. <laughs> yeah. I'm I'm over thirty years old. <laughs> That's more embarrassing than funny. But um, you know, wow. I'm over thirty two wearing a firefighter outfit. Fi yeah, wow. but fighter pilot. Wait, what? Fighter pilot. Fighter, fighter pilot. Fighter pilot. Fighter pilot. You gotta say it with an accent though. Give me an accent. You're a fighter fighter pilot. Drop the accent. I have a raspy voice right now. Okay, <laughs> it actually works. It works. Okay, it's funnier my, in person. Okay, my turn. Go. You're not even gonna uh, read it. You just know it already. Yeah, you're not. Or you're just gonna say I'm something mean. I'm prepared. I'm prepared. I'm <laughs> prepared. Josh buys wife beaters monthly. Oh yeah. Yeah, you do. Oh huh? yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah because fresh. after you wash them and stuff like that, they kind of like they don't look as clean. How many sharp. times? How many times you have to wash them in order to throw them away? Uh, I, I've noticed like around three. Three, they kind of start like they'll shrink a little bit, really? especially if you mix them in with like other clothes. I'll be real with you, I don't really like take care of my wife beaters like that. Like I'll just kind of mix them in with like colors and stuff like that, which I know I shouldn't do, but they're not 
Yeah, I don't know. I rather just kind of have like fresh wife beaters. Typical so guy. I'm not worried about it. Typical yeah. guy. I'm actually really good with my laundry, so I'm not gonna let you say that. I just think with wife beaters, I'll just kind of like you know I'll put them in with like my gym clothes and stuff like that. So I think that's how they kind of get a little more messed up faster. And like I'm really a good fresh with my wife beater, too. a fresh wife beater, bro, it, it hits different. No matter how good you are with your laundry, a fresh wifey hits different. Yeah. Mm hmm. I wear a lot of wife beaters too, and yeah. I agree. Yeah. We've talked about this. But the first wash, uh -huh. and then you wear it one more time. To me, that's the best. Oh, really? Yeah. Because it's a little more like fitted. And even sometimes when you get them, they're like, they have like a little thing that kind of sticks up. Like on the, they're not like, yeah. I don't know. They're not yeah. molded to you yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I feel like that first wash. Yeah. I, I can get Mine that. lasts about four to five washes. Yeah. And then after that, I just go get another pack. Because they're not that very, they're not very expensive. You know what I'm bad at? I'm bad at like everything. getting rid of them. Okay. You know what I mean? And everything as well. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, are you good about? You're what bad you, at getting rid of, rid of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why, like I hold on to them. No, no. Like I'll just keep them, and then I like they I talk realize, to you. Yeah. No. <laughs> don't Please. let go of me. I'm like I'm a nice guy. I can't <laughs> let go of you, right? <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah. That's kind of funny that people notice that. Well, you always got your chest out. You are very observant. You always got your chest out. You know what I'm saying? You gotta let these puppies out. Gotta I think you have one breathe. more for me. I do. Unless you're not prepared. I got it. I got two. Oh, you know what? We're going to do a speed round after this, right? Because there's some ones I want to hit. You know what? Okay, I got it. Hold on. This was an interesting one. And I don't know why this is an assumption about you because I don't think so. You've even talked about this before. Uh, but they said he doesn't want kids. Super false. Super, right? Super false. Okay, I'm gonna just going to ask you another one because uh, I, I know that. I feel like you've really been open about you wanting kids. And Dude, just... I'm waiting to get married. Yeah. I believe you. Which is... <laughs> I believe you too. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's, it's okay to assume that. That's it's okay. First of all, I'm, I'm an asshole that doesn't want kids. Well, who's who's clearly not funny? <laughs> who's clearly not funny? <laughs> um, no, no, no. All jokes aside, uh, of course I want kids. I at least want two. Two, two is my goal. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, um, I, I have to have a kid. It's gotcha. the, it's the most ultimate thing that you can do as a human being is to make another human being. I don't care if it's a boy or a girl, what comes first, yeah. whatever, if it's two boys, if it's two girls, all I care about is that I have kids mm -hmm. and they come out healthy mm -hmm. or, or, you know, or, yeah. and me live happy with my fiance and that's yeah. it. And Karen I, wants kids too. Yeah. I have to make a me, a mini me, me. <laughs> I have to make a kid with Karen. Whoa. That looks like that's scissoring, me dude. and her. That was scissoring. Okay. I didn't want to do that. <laughs> I'll just connect the jeans. You didn't have to do anything with your hands. Jeans are connecting. Our genetic genes connect. Don't do that. Just don't say anything. Don't nobody, do anything with your hands. Nobody thought it was scissoring. Only you, because you're sick. Well, when this you is, do this. Everybody knows connecting genes together. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. Well, okay, dude. Like I said, I have to make a mini me. Me. <laughs> you didn't get that, huh? Me. <laughs> no, I got it, bro. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm ready for my rapid fire Hit questions. Me. You got? Don't you have one more for me? I, or did you start? No, I already did five. Okay, cool. Let's go. <clears throat> rapid fire. Do you want me to go first? Or do you want me to go first? You don't have five for me yet. Did you say five already for me? Yes, dude. I just told you that you don't want kids. Okay. That was the assumption. Was that the fifth one? I yeah. didn't count. Okay, let's. How oh, about this one? I like this one. This one you got to explain a little bit more. Okay. <clears throat> he doesn't let his emotions get the best of him. Ever. Ever. Really? Never. Yeah. yeah I'm, a, I'm an emotional guy. Yeah. A guy. I'm an emotional guy. For sure. Emotional damage. Emotional that Yeah, I'm an emotional guy, for sure. Super emotional. But when it comes to only certain, like like my fiance, if, if I have an emotional thing with her, it does get to me because I, I love her. Uh, if it's my family, I love her. If it's you, you know, I, I, I might let it get to me for a little bit, but I like to fix it immediately. Yeah. Yeah. Um, other than that, I don't let anything really bother me ever. That's a superpower. It is. I genuinely it is. It is. And I'm not going to say to people like, you know, to do, to be like me because everyone's different. I just have the power to not let it get to me. Yeah. I think anybody. Who, I, you can't tell. Sorry. Yeah. You, you can't tell people not to be a certain way. You know, people are born with different mentalities than, than others. That's one thing that I've that I've um, learned throughout my life is you can't try to make people or expect people to be just like you. Yeah. Just like in a relationship. I'm a certain way. My fiance is a certain way. I would get mad because I'm like, why aren't you doing this? Like me, like, why can't you just shut something down? Or why can't you like, you know, I don't know, get over it mm -hmm. as mm -hmm. fast as me. Yeah. I'm just setting an example. For sure. But you know, like I, and then I used to expect like, wow, well, why can't you do it? Like I'm <clears> doing <throat> it, you know, but yeah. no, 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 you can't do that. Yeah. 
everybody's different but yeah i don't let anything really get to me yeah i think that um i agree with that right like you can't you can't expect people to handle things the way you handle them but i also think that we can create awareness and to like let people know that your environment the outside world like that doesn't have to control your emotions like we forget that we have full control of yeah, our emotions yeah and it's as simple as like you ever been in a situation where you're like fighting you're really angry about something maybe you're in an argument or whatever something very sad is happening a specific emotion that you're heavily feeling and then something will like kick you out of it like it'll make you laugh and stuff like that in a moment it takes like seconds and then you're out of that emotion that's the same thing we have that same ability at all times you know so not letting things get to you yeah. uh is a superpower because you're I able agree. to kind of like know that it's all up to you yeah. like what you feel is completely up to it's you a lot of self-control yeah yeah I, I but, also, it, but it is a, like a superpower because not everybody can do that but if you can harness and control your emotions in that regard dude you're unstoppable yeah i think it's a superpower that you can try to get yeah you might, you might not be like as easy like you might not get it as easy like for like somebody like me it's easy for me to kind of comes natural is what you're saying comes natural yeah yeah, yeah. thank you that's better it comes natural to me mm -hmm. some people might not but i feel like you can easily gain the self-control thousand percent by you being mindful you can learn how to by do being it mindful, yeah, yeah. right um one thing too that i feel like sadly has helped me be like that like <clears throat> nothing really bothers me is i feel like there's a lot of things that have ha have happened in my life whether that be like trauma or things in my family or blah 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 that i've learned about whoa I did. that was kind of sexy <laughs> show the strap i'm falling off. i was like i don't know i don't know, might need to clip that um uh, i feel like so many things like negative have happened in my life where i have you know thought about it and i just really think to myself like i'm just gonna be happy as long as you know my fiance is happy my family's happy they're healthy and my friend and my little handful of friends that i truly truly love they're happy that's all that really matters yeah. in life yeah. that's really all that matters in life everything else is a plus it's a fugazi it's a fugazi fugazi the, yeah. fu the the fugazi life yeah no, i get that i love that bro that's yeah. good superpower my man yeah you super man so i got so what we're gonna do now speed round speed round yeah i'm i want to be real with you bro i'm just gonna go all right i'm gonna go like i'm gonna read these and you just gotta go well, yeah, because you're not prepared. I know right. you're not. So I have a folder that says. Show me your folder. Rapid questions. Got you. You spelled rapid wrong. No, I didn't. Well, looks like you did. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna do rapid questions, and it's he is he's either gonna say yes sir, my boy, <laughs> or hell nah, my boy. Okay, cool. I like okay? that. Okay, so whatever I say is either yes sir, my boy. Next question, yes sir, my boy. So I don't get to explain nothing. Nothing. It's just yes or no. All right. My boy, got you, dog. Ready? Ready. Hit here, me. here we go. Here we go. Ready. Ready. Tienes hijos abandonados. No, sir, my boy. He still calls his mom mommy. Yes, sir, my boy. <laughs> He's too conceited. Hell no, nah, my boy. He got peck implants. Hell no, nah, my boy. <laughs> he sits when he pees. <laughs> Sometimes, my boy. <laughs> Just kidding. He deaf taking steroids. Hell no, nah, my boy. He cries during sad movies. Hell yeah, my boy. He's really freaky. Hell yeah, my boy. Chill out. <laughs> He's high maintenance. Ish, my boy. He has a foot fetish. Nah, my boy. <laughs> that was fun. I kind of was all over the place with my hell yeah, whatever, but that was you, 10 the rapid fire questions for Bro, you, you, my good. boy. I don't know what it is, but you're good. I'm not good. Look at me. I'm not good. You're great. No, no, look at me. I'm looking at you, dude. No, really, look at me. I better say, let's get get his way. Jesus, man, I'm trying to film a podcast here, dude. I'm not good. <laughs> I'm Woody. Oh, that was good. That was good. That was good. That was good. You feel so cool right now, huh? <laughs> Have you ever heard the quote, real lies, real lies, real lies? Just right now. That's a great <laughs> quote. Okay, ready? Here we go. <clears throat> you ready? Yes, yeah, sir, my boy. Two, one. That was the opposite. He doesn't like spicy food. Hell nah, my boy. Oh, wait, yes, sir, my boy. Sorry, I got it confused. <laughs> you do or you don't? I thought it meant like he does not. Hells yeah or hells nah? Hells yeah, my boy. All right. Hells yeah. <laughs> He's got a hairy ass. Mid, my boy. <laughs> He's a above life mid, above <laughs> mid. Sorry, I'm gonna be real. Above mid, <laughs> but it can be tamed. <laughs> my boy, grooming, grooming. Uh, he's the life of the party. Hell's yeah, my boy. Oh yeah, it's yes sir, my boy. Yeah, he smells good, but doesn't shower before bed. Yes sir, my boy. 
so you don't shower before bed? Sometimes. <laughs> Do you have to? Uh, no. Next question. It just depends on what you did. Next question. I'm Woody. <laughs> I have. All right. Uh, gives no fucks. Yes, sir, my boy. <laughs> Loki finds Josh annoying. Yes. Yeah. Hell no, nah, my boy. Come you on, baby. It. I think this person finds me annoying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna block you. <laughs> That's funny. She pours the milk in the in the bowl before the cereal. What a tool! <laughs> what you're mean? I'm not a tool. First of all, hell nah, my boy. <laughs> he uh, uh, the greatest first baseman in the league, but he didn't say that. Yes, sir, my boy. <sighs> wow, how many was that? Not ten. He's Maluma's long lost twin. Yes, sir, my boy. Ooh. Cool dude with cool hair. Yeah, there, my boy. One more. One more. He doesn't hit legs. Yes, sir, my boy. You don't, huh? Not as much as I should. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! That was fun, man. Was Next fun. time I'll be more prepared. I'm sorry. What a great bonus episode, don't dude, you say? Dude, that was fun. That was, we crushed it. Wouldn't you say? Yeah, we got to do another one of these, but not assumptions. We got to do something else. Yeah, like, yeah. Uh, like one of these questions where we ask people and then we kind of, uh, you know, we talk about it. You know what? All these assumptions have made me realize in my life that there's maybe some things that I need to fix. Okay. Like? My image. What do you mean? I am an asshole. No, you're, but you're not, though. But I don't the wanna... perception that you give people, maybe like that. That's what I'm saying. Got it. I know I'm not an asshole. Well, I know I'm not. An if you're not what? If I'm not what? Hey, look, I know <laughs> I'm not I'm, what? Clearly, everybody here knows I'm not an asshole. Yeah. But for those who think I look like one, yep. I don't want to look like one. So what would you do differently? Maybe smile more. Smile more in my pictures. Okay. Um, maybe my captions should be a little bit more jolly. Okay. Um. We're gonna do a whole rebrand on you, bro. Yeah, yeah, just rebrand me. Maybe we're, I'm gonna start wearing Hollister. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know, dress up like Woody more often. Yeah. Cause I, 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 look at me. Yeah. There's no way I'm an asshole. Not so, in the Woody outfit, no. Soy Woody. <laughs> tu amigo Woody. <laughs> I don't know where this like perception came from, from you. I'm gonna be Maybe it's you. the eyebrows. Yeah, maybe it's the, it's the, you're Rico Suave, bro. That's what it is. You know? Sometimes my girl does tell me like, yo, like, Stop looking like that. I'm like, how, babe? Because I don't know you look mean right now. Oh. And I'm like, fuck. You got RBF. RBF? What does that stand for? Resting bitch face. Oh, that's right. I will say maybe, this. Maybe. I'm going to say something. Maybe. And you can cut this from the podcast. Sometimes if I, I feel. If I want to? Yes, if you want to. Okay. I've, I've Obviously, we've been friends for a while. But we hanging have? out with you more. We hang out. We talk every day. We hang out like often. Obviously, we're like bouncing back ideas and stuff like that. There are times where I feel like you um, either are like upset about something, um, bothered, annoyed. Like sometimes I get that impression by you, and I'm always trying to like, are you like trying to gauge where you're at? I wow. have experienced that with you. Wow. So maybe that's maybe that's kind of where people get the idea. And I don't think I think that's just like how you are. Like that you're not you're not. There's nothing you're necessarily upset about, but you're just kind of in a certain pocket that just kind of comes across like you're, yeah. something's wrong with you. Yeah. I've even had times where I'm like, see, did I say something wrong? You think it's because I'm a Gemini? I think you're a two-faced son of a bitch. Oh, yeah. Gemini ass hoe. <laughs> just kidding. Uh, <laughs> bro, ever since we've done that episode, yeah, I'm, I'm, like, I'm like, really, I'm like, I watch you, bro. I'm like, Gemini tendencies. Yeah, remember right remember right the, first, the first podcast we did, kind of like the first or second, where yeah. we, we planned to talk shit about each other? Well, it was mainly me towards you. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, then I was like a big asshole. Wait, that was for the twins. It was. Yeah, to yeah. get the reaction. To get the reaction. Yeah, dang. Uh, wait, what does that do with me? Uh, no, I'm just saying, I feel like <laughs> my image was an asshole that day, too. Oh, I got you. Yeah, yeah you leaned into that more. Yeah. Or people, like, this idea that people had, you like, see, there it is. Yeah. Calling them out, putting them but on the spot. I, I kid you not, I am definitely... Far, 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 far. Galaxies far. I will say this. I'm going to back you up, bro, because um, I've seen you in a lot of situations. Hanging out with you, I get to see you in different moments, like vice versa, right? Um, and I've seen you really be uh, self-aware of times that you might have come across, not necessarily like an asshole, but you understand how that could have come across mean or wrong, right? There's been instances like, several times, and I'll tell you, I don't want to talk about them on the podcast, but you've even said it, like, uh, like, you were like, dude, I said this and I understand how it came across wrong and like I feel so bad about it. You know what I mean? And you said something earlier, if you're an asshole, they, there's no backing out by it. You're yeah. like, I'm an asshole, that's what it yeah, is. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, I hate to break it to you, sweetheart. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's, not, that's not who you are, yeah. you know? But you are swaggy, you do got drip, so maybe some people might be like, this fool, like he's conceited, you know? 
you, you know that's just wow. that comes with the territory you know keep doing you boo boo thank you boo boo and as long as your heart's in the right place and you are uh self-aware that you know people are gonna have this assumptions of you and it doesn't really matter because you care about what you care about and you know what's important to you then you know what i mean you got a good heart you leave with a good heart and i think that's all that matters i feel like we just had a huge intervention of me being an asshole i don't know how serious i can take you with that woody outfit dog <laughs> <laughs> I see you pondering and really reflecting on your life, and I'm like, "There's a snake in this boot right now. How could he be serious in a moment?" Soy tu amigo Woody. <laughs> that one's better. That was better. But yes, guys, that was our bonus episode today. Hope you enjoyed it. I believe we're gonna post this on Friday. Yeah, and then we got an episode on Monday. A couple days later. Wow. I mean, you don't gotta wait that that much. Yeah, yeah. Um, can people still get? Uh, was it 10, 15 percent off? Um, yes, ten percent off. La Platica. Yep. If you use uh, code La Platica, sorry, ten percent off. Te salud using code La Platica. Yeah. So you can get still www.tesalud.com mm -hmm. anything you can get 10 percent off code la platica yes sir you can still do that yes sir and i think you can still do the mascape one too right i think it's 25 percent off mascape is it yeah i think so okay is it la platica 25 no. we got codes everywhere ah uh, got, got codes i got, I got codes in different area, area codes, codes. Area codes. Mm -hmm. I got hoes. This is a fun episode. We gotta do this. One. I, I, I'm kind of feeling these two episodes. I feel like there's a little less pressure. This is just like the people who really fuck with us. They're like, I want to see a little more. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It was a good one. Yeah. I can't wait to edit it. Uh, so I guess in the comment sections below, let us know if uh, you guys think Sevas is an asshole. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Don't come. <laughs> well, too late now. <laughs> we did a good. Okay, never mind. <laughs> never mind. <laughs> No, you <laughs> asshole. <laughs> and ask them, you ask a question about me. I have them answer a question about uh, me. On the comments down below, <laughs> do you still think he has a clean ass? Because he doesn't. <laughs> I do. I sure do, partner. Soy Woody. Soy tu amigo. Let's <laughs> end this episode, bro. We got to go. We got to go to Joey's. Uh, you can <laughs> find us on Shop. Shop. Hey, you okay, dude? You're not an asshole, okay? Let it go. Spotify and Apple Podcasts. Make sure you subscribe to La Platica. Uh, like this video. Show us some love on the comments. We'd like to read all of them. And uh, we'll see you guys on Monday. See you on Monday. It kind of sounded like uh, uh, Sebastian and Grusso. You know the Italian comedian guys? Like, so I was walking over there. This guy said, what are you doing? You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of sound like that. You're running Anyways, not important. <laughs> That's a good, I have a good accent. Yeah, it's a good accent. We'll see you guys on the next episode on Monday. You're way funnier hashtag, person, dude. Hashtag Mondays don't suck. My boy. <laughs> No, sir. Adios. Adios, my boy. Tu amigo Woody. Y tu amigo Fighter Frank. <laughs> Later. Estás escuchando la platica.